So the mild cognitive impairment, that's a bigger risk for Alzheimer's disease than even dementia. Mild cognitive impairment is usually, yeah, it's like a pre-dementia. Right. Well, it's like a pre-Alzheimer's though. From what I was reading is that even just mild cognitive, which kind of terrified me actually when I read mm. it, I was like, wait, if mild cognitive impairment is, it's such an extreme risk for future Alzheimer's disease yeah. risk, more than just frank dementia, which you would think would be like a straight path. but there's so many people out there experiencing mild cognitive impairment that are walking into their 60s and 70s and some even in the, I mean our age cohort you're younger than me but my age cohort is a hot mess mm. so these little glimmers where you walk in the room and you don't remember what you're in there for and all of these little harbingers decades earlier we have to get our metabolic shit together because this is what's down the line and I've said this for years if you're walking the line on poor metabolic health which most Americans are, you're sitting there for 15, 20 years before you get the magic diagnosis of type two diabetes. And all that is, is a number on a lab where they're like, you've arrived, mm. right? Now you've got type two, but all of the damage in your microvasculature has been happening that entire time. So your kidneys, your retina, your brain, right? We were always taught you're going to see type two diabetes when you, or you're going to get probably diagnosed by your eye doctor before anyone else if your eye doctor is doing a good job because they're going to see the retinal damage.